All right, today we're going to work on making a flag for our castle. We want a flag that sits on a flagpole, and it's like it's waving in the breeze. We're going to use a feature called Sweep. You can put your flag anywhere. So I made this simple little castle with a tower with kind of this princess Disney top on it. But you can put your flag down here. You can put it on top of there. But since I made this tower, I'm going to put mine right on the very top. So I'm going to put my flagpole right here. So I'm going to make a new sketch on that little round circle right there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see what the heck I'm doing. And we want to stretch it out. Uh, I think this could be a really fat flagpole, so we're going to make mine 0 0.05. Make a skinny little flagpole. Okay, again, based on your castle, you'll have to adjust yours to fit. We're going to extrude. We're going to extrude that little tiny piece right there. We extrude him up. Let's zoom out. That looks like a pretty good length. So we're going to say OK. So there's our flagpole. So now we're going to draw our flag. We're going to draw the cross-sectional end of the flag. So the really skinny little part, like I was looking at the end of the flag. Not the side where you see the stars and stripes or whatever, but the end. So you can just barely see it. I have to draw that on this round surface. You can't draw on a round surface. So we have to put a work plane sitting in front of that surface. So you can go to plane, do the drop-down menu, do tangent to the surface, because it's round, and parallel to a plane. So we're going to click the surface is this guy. And then parallel to whatever plane. We could put him there. We could put him there. We put wherever we want. Let's pick this weird one over here. Let's try to pick this weird one over here. Why I try to do things crazy? I don't know. If that didn't work, let's try it again. Okay, so we're going to do tangent surface parallel to plane here and there. That worked that time. Okay, so now if I look at the top, you can see there is my work plane sitting right on the edge of that piece. So let's zoom here to this side. I'm going to go to work plane. I'm going to make a new sketch because now I'm going to draw the rectangle that I would started talking about earlier. So I'm going to zoom in here. We're going to get a rectangle. We're going to make it a skinny little rectangle. Okay, we're going to drive him right down the center. And we want to make him, I don't know, I'm going to make a fairly big flag, so I'm going to make him about halfway down here. And now you have that little rectangle. So I'm going to finish the sketch. Okay? So there's my rectangle sitting right there. If I look at that from the top, so you can see that black line is the rectangle. So now I have to draw the flag sweeping out here to the right, okay, showing the top view of my flag. So we're going to get Make a new sketch on the top again of your flagpole. Keeps moving me over. We're going to use spline tool. Remember, it's under your line. Usually it looks like line. We're going to grab the spline. And we're going to start our flag right there at that rectangle. You can start it at the edge or wherever, but you start it at the rectangle there. Okay, and then we're going to sweep him out. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I so I can know how big my flag's supposed to be. I want my flag to stick way out here beyond the castle's walls because it's a big old flag. Now I have pretty smooth curves. You can't have any really sharp corners. Okay, So if you did that, it can't handle it. So you got to do something that's fairly smooth, easy going curves. Okay? So finish that sketch. Zip back home here so we can see everybody. Now when we do this, now we're going to use sweep. We're going to connect this curvy line to that rectangle. So we're going to click Sweep, and it saw what I needed to do. But the profile is the rectangle. So if it doesn't see it and turn green like mine did, click Profile and click your rectangle. And then Curve, that's the spline that you just made. And you can see kind of what's happening. There's my flag that's being created. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to say OK. Now I did make him super long. Okay, and that's kind of a big flag, and maybe that's what you want. Maybe it's a little bit too long. Don't forget you can always fix these things. So under sweep, there's my sketches. There's the rectangle. There's the long line. So if I wanted him fatter or taller from top to bottom, I could do change this sketch. If I wanted to change the length of him or his waviness, I can fix this sketch. So I'm going to edit that sketch. I just want to make it a little bit shorter. Okay, So I'm going to squeeze some of these back a little bit. And shorten him back kind of like that. Finish my sketch, and boom, there I got a shorter flag. 
that easy. Okay, and that's pretty much it for a flag. Again, if you don't like, so you can see it, if you don't like this plane, this work plane showing up, you just right click on him, it changes visibility, and now you'll be able to see your flag better. That's all there is to it.